so we've been talking to you about law of attraction for a very long time haven't we and many people are beginning to understand it many are misunderstanding it but we want you to understand that law of attraction is responding to the vibration of that which is you we also want you to understand that you've got two vibrational things going on at any point in time because you were source energy before you came into this physical body and even though you were born into this body that larger part of you still exists it is a vibrational you it's a vibrational co-creative you and it's pure positive energy so here you are in your physical body sifting and sorting knowing what you don't want knowing what you do want all day every day have been for a very long time launching preferences clear preferences of what you prefer and each one of these vibrational launchings is received by the larger part of you in other words vibrationally speaking the source within you is evolving and expanding as a result of the life that you're living here in this physical body when you see someone hungry you want more food for your planet when someone is rude to you you want nicer people in your life and in the lives of others in other words you are constantly expanding and improving through the life that you are living and the source within you is taking that expansion immediately so we've been then explaining to you that without even knowing it you've been creating this vibrational reality it's the vibrational version that precedes the manifested version and we explain to you that the source within you is collecting and becoming all that you are asking for and then you say well if that's true then why is my life not improving and we say for one very easy to understand reason you're launching the rockets by knowing what you don't want but then you're not practicing the vibration of what you do want often instead you're beating the drum of justification of why you want the improvement and that's that efforting factor that we're talking about that is not serving you you're trying so hard to get what you want by pointing out that this isn't fair and this is unjust and Kate shouldn't have won that and they don't want me to win in other words as you feel the unfairness and then you stand in the justification because there's a part of you that knows you innately understand that you are supposed to be winning you are supposed to be feeling good and when you're not you understand that there's something wrong and then you go about trying to explain why it's wrong and how long it's been wrong and what's really wrong about it and how others agree with you that it is wrong so you continue to practice the vibration a frequency that disallows what you want so in order to help you bridge that gap between who you've become and who you're allowing yourself to be we are offering a series of analogies we wanted you first to understand that there is a vibrational version of you that you have access to but you have to practice yourself into alignment with it and on some subjects that's easy for you to do because you've been practicing it and on other subjects it's more difficult for you to do so then we began explaining to you yes there is the non-physical version of you which you are contributing to constantly this is just not the non-physical part of you that was before you were born that now you're trying to catch up with this is the non-physical part of you that has been expanding and evolving as a result of the life that you're living here in this physical body so this vibrational version this vortex version of you exists it is a reality that you have access to but you've got to find the frequency just like you've got to broadcast and receive with your transmitting mechanisms you can't set your radio dial on 101 a.m. and receive what's being broadcast on 97 FM you have to be on the frequency that the broadcast is coming from so this vortex version of you is broadcasting this prosperous vibration of well-being of alignment of co-creation of rendezvousing with all good things the question is are you on that frequency and the answer is if you feel good yes if you feel bad no positive emotion means you're on the frequency or moving in on it and negative emotion means that you're not so then as we've watched you we've been calling this gathering the art of allowing for a number of years because it's all about you figuring out how to allow that alignment you figuring out how to hold a frequency consistently enough that you own it that you know it that you are it that you be it to establish a point of attraction with enough consistency that you allow momentum Did you get that enough consistency that you allow momentum because when you say I want it but 
there's no momentum I would like that but you see it's been hard for me I want that but my life's been very difficult for a very long time let me tell you the ways in which it has been difficult and we say stop talking about the ways in which it has been difficult because you're killing the momentum of the desire that you just gave birth to you gave birth to it and didn't allow it to get going you give birth to it and don't allow it to get going but imagine if you give birth to it and allow it to get going if you give birth to it and allow it to get going if you identify a new desire and are general enough in your conversation so we began talking to you about your point of attraction and it seemed like a good way to describe it it's like a grid that will be filled in later with the manifestations it's like a framework it's like the frame of a building that starts out sort of scanty you can sort of kind of tell what it's going to be like but all of the textures and fabrics and details are going to come later you're going to choose them as you go along and you're going to fill it out and flesh it out with all of the magnificent delicious details so you have this point of attraction this grid if you've been following us for a while we've been talking to you about your emotions and what they mean you heard us today say that negative emotion means you've got a vibration going on that you're not up to speed with and that positive emotion means you've got a vibration going on in your vortex that you are up to speed with so today we want you to contemplate that these emotions which go all the way from appreciation and love and ecstasy passion fulfillment love that feeling of invincibility that feeling of eagerness for life you know how that feels all the way down to despair to a feeling of fear to a feeling of disempowerment to a feeling that they don't want me to win that feeling of having no control of your life and of course there's every imaginable emotional word or feeling in between all of that so now we want you to realize that you are a vibrational being and that you've got a momentum going so we'd like you to envision this spinning disc this pure positive energy disc this high flying good feeling point of attraction that somehow some way you've managed to get on and we want to say to you it's pretty easy first thing in the day before something happens before you read your email or before you see another person who is irritating or before you start remembering what went wrong yesterday in other words you can get on that high-flying disc pretty easily because you wake up there and if you don't do that thing you usually do that causes you to choose a lower disc then there you fly for a little while and we want you to just speculate the kinds of magnificent things that you have incrementally put into your vortex of creation that will now flow seamlessly effortlessly quickly through the path of least resistance into your spinning grid into that high flying good feeling grid Esther has been having a lot of fun with this visual because she's discovered that if she cares about getting on it she most always does and if she cares about staying on it then she's mindful of the 17 second scenarios that might take her from it and she's also become really good at what we were offering to you earlier about if she's falling and the momentum is strong don't beat up on Esther about it don't beat up on yourself just take the fall and set forth the intention that tomorrow you're gonna get back on it so if every morning you decide you're gonna get on it first couple of days you probably won't make it to breakfast <laughs> before something takes you from it but eventually it's where the momentum of that which is you feels most natural it's just pretty easy to stay there especially when you realize that by staying general you don't challenge it you don't risk anything and that if you do fall off it's no big deal you can get back on it tomorrow so last week Esther announced to us Abraham I refuse to accept that I have to wait till tomorrow morning to get back on the disc because I like being on it so much and I'm clearly not on it right now for all of the obvious reasons because you saw what happened it was wrong what they said what they did how it turned out wrong 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 but I refuse to accept that I have to wait clear until tomorrow morning to get back on it 
I'm going to meditate and clear my mind worked really good I'm going to find some way of distracting myself I'm going to find a way of slowing the momentum of unwanted things while I speed the momentum of wanted things and this is the last piece of this opening that we want you to hear from us make no effort at slowing negative momentum because it just speeds it because this is a universe of inclusion there's no exclusion it's all about attraction so when you're not going to think about that thing that you're thinking about then you're thinking about that thing you're not going to think about and as you're thinking about that thing you're not going to think about you're thinking about that thing you're not going to think about and the momentum is getting stronger and stronger and stronger and you're feeling worse and worse and worse and getting all animated about the injustice of what you're feeling they just don't want me to win you exclaim and we want you to understand that it's all about what you're doing and when it doesn't feel good just lay as low as you can lay as fast as you can do it so rather than trying to stop negative momentum your work this is your assignment for the rest of your life we never give homework but today we're going to find ways to get positive momentum going that's it that's your work